John Harker Limited were based at Gloucester, here at Monk Meadow, alongside the large grain silo. Today, the silo has gone, and where Harker's office was is now Sainsbury's supermarket. Monk Meadow Dock was then where Harker's and Regent vessels would regularly unload their cargoes of oil. During late 1960, Shell opened a new oil depot down the canal at Quesley, so slowly, fewer tankers discharged in Monk Meadow. With Gloucester Power Station in the background, we see an old steam bucket dredger hard at work at Lantony Quay. If only today they would dredge this way, so efficient in getting rid of the mud. We join one of the Shell and BP tanker barges, the BP Miller, for passage down the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal. Seven of these were on charter to Harkers, known as the shell boats and crewed by Harker men. The first bridge we pass through is Hempstead Bridge. Today this bridge is for pedestrians only, but still a bridge keeper is required to open it each time a vessel passes through. Having passed through Hempstead Bridge, we see on the left the busy Bristol Road out of Gloucester. In those days, there was the large city gasworks here, now long gone. This area today is still very much the commercial area of Gloucester. We pass a British Waterways tug towing three dumb barges. These could be bound for the long voyage to Starport on Severn. Soon we are rounding the two mile bend. No longer here, for it was straightened when the last leg of the Gloucester bypass was completed a few years ago. In the distance can be seen Robinswood Hill, a well-known Gloucester landmark. The next bridge we pass through is Sims Bridge. Very little traffic passes over as it is only used by a local farm. As we travel the half dozen miles down the canal, you will see numerous chalets, most in use as holiday lets. Many of the bridges had their own unique style of house, similar to this green one as seen at our third bridge of the Rebridge.
Five miles from Gloucester, we see oil storage tanks at the new Shell Mex depot at Quedgley. Opened in 1960, initially for use by tanker barges and later by coastal tankers. The depot closed in 1985 and is now a housing estate. We pass a tug to an empty mud hoppers bound for the dredger at Gloucester. Beyond the depot is Sellers Bridge, known locally as the Pilot Bridge, called because that is the name of the pub sitting high up on top of the bank. Soon we reach Hardwick Bridge, another bridge simply going to a local farm. The bridge has long been closed, still sitting there idle. Park End Bridge is the next to pass through, another bridge with a local name, many call the bridge Castle Bridge, named after a pub that used to be here. As with most of the bridges, they are located on awkward bends on the canal, making it difficult to pass through safely.
have to stop to allow the loaded Riversdale H through what was Pegthorn Bridge, closed during World War II. Following the Riversdale H is the Black Oiler Southdale H. And the Spirit carrying Harker Tanker Barge Wandale H. Following them is a loaded shell boat. Midway down the canal and we arrive at Junction Bridge. A footbridge crosses the canal, but more interesting is that the canal crosses the old narrow Stroudwater Canal, which when built, you could travel from the nearby River Severn to London. Located between Junction Bridge and the next bridge, Sandfield Bridge, is a small shipyard. soon we are through Sandfield Bridge and immediately on the left the US Army built two large warehouses during the last war to be occupied by Army supply troops. In later years they were converted for use by coastal cargo ships. Before we pass through Freedom Bridge, we can see on the left a small Cabris factory, built in 1916, where chocolate crumb was produced. As tanker barges pass by, abusive words would be shouted by the crew. In retaliation, factory workers would throw lumps of chocolate at the crew, giving them free chocolate to enjoy. <laughs>
At the end of a straight stretch of canal, we reach Splat Bridge. The view now opens up across the fields to the River Severn. The bridge is here simply to carry farm vehicles over the bridge and into the fields. The next bridge we pass through is Cambridge Arm, yet another bridge not really going anywhere. Patch Bridge, a name from the 19th century when canal workers were housed here. Down the lane is the famous Slimbridge Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust. We are passing alongside the old village of Purton, carefully going through Purton Upper Bridge before negotiating the difficult Purton Lower Bridge. We can see in the near distance the Severn Railway Bridge. As the bridge is incomplete, it dates this film to after October 1960, the month of the terrible accident. On the right is where full mud hoppers would be towed to, to have their cargo of mud pumped into the adjacent River Severn. Tide is out, and the remains of the damaged Severn Railway Bridge stand high. Opened in 1876, it carried a single track railway across the Canal and River Severn. On a very foggy night of the 25th of October 1960, two tanker barges were caught in the fierce Severn tide and taken upstream to collide with the bridge column, which resulted in two spans dropping onto the vessels. Both vessels each had a crew of four men and that night five of them were killed. The bridge was eventually demolished in 1993. Finally pass under the high level bridge and through the low level bridge into Sharpness Docks. Thank you.
take a voyage back up the canal to Gloucester, soon passing the Severn Railway Bridge, now clearly showing the missing two spans. We also see the wrecks of the two tanker barges, Arkendale H and Wasdale H, lying in the sand off Purton. It must be a Sunday, for it was not unknown for the skipper's family to come aboard for a trip, either up or down the canal. Note the car-type steering wheel, instead of the traditional large wooden ship's wheel. Member joining his ship at the new Shell Max Oil Depot, Quesley. Passing a coastal vessel. Always fun in games when the camera comes out. Whilst the Harker's Dell boat is at the oil berth. The waste oil tanker Kyle's, the oldest ship shown in Lloyd's Register of Shipping. If you have enjoyed my film, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.
It was the BP Miller that performed the official opening of the new depot at Quesley in September 1960. Look out for more of my films of Harkers at Work on the Severn Estuary and down the Bristol Channel.